Uh, moving over here. Uh, we started this yesterday. We found an old machine of ours. Yes. We're, we're not even that old, but this machine's about five years old. Uh, when we got fired from NEW for that Sex with Sam thing, uh, they took all our stuff. And we've been slowly but surely uh, finding this stuff. Time now to that we reacquire as much as we can. Now that they rehired us years later, <laughs> which mm -hmm. is the most bizarre thing ever that we really haven't fully uh, discussed yet. And uh, I guess Al Dukes or somebody found our old replay machine in a closet. Yeah, one of the, uh, one of the machines. Going, they were just going through some old boxes or whatever. And uh, this thing was forgotten. It was just thrown in a closet, so we couldn't find it. And uh, it was unearthed. Kind of like yeah. a time, kind of like a time capsule. Time capsule. It was on Earth, and it was given to us, and it's old. We had to dust it off, and everything. This thing is really old. You would never use this today no. on, on radio. It's called the. It's a 360 shortcut. Yeah. And uh, we started going through it yesterday, and what we found today is uh, some clips from our staple gun challenge. Are yeah, these, these are full of uh, like clips. They're not entire shows. They're not entire breaks of things. They're just clips that we've uh, uh, that we were, were acquiring over the years. Well, you know, that we were there at NEW and putting them on uh, the machine. Well, like we got our new machine where you know you hear stuff like, <laughs> yeah, the smokers laugh. Let me. So obviously, this is the old version of that. Yeah. And uh, we have some staple gun clips in here. And the staple gun challenge is one of the shows uh, we've lost, right, Iraq? We don't have a copy of that. And people are amazed at that because just about every one of our radio shows is online somewhere. But we yeah. personally do not have a copy of the uh, staple gun challenge show, right? Oh, we do. Have you ever played it? Oh, uh, All right. Oh, oh, everyone. Good go. job. Really? We did play it on a worse stuff? Yeah. Could have just agreed and said no. And yeah, then mouthed the words yes. Way to make me look really bad. Way to make wow. me look like a horse's ass. Ouch. But anyway, so uh, the Staple Gun Challenge was uh, a fine show where Ant and I decided there was a Staple Gun around the studio. We decided to have the Staple Gun Challenge. We took, like, the newspaper that day, the New York Post, what happened. Yeah, we just kind of came up with this. I don't know how. I I, I think it was just a, a, a like, bet. It was yeah. kind of like, hey, I bet you won't do this. And it was taking a newspaper, put it over your knee. Uh, put it over your thigh, actually, the upper part of your thigh, and pop a staple into it. Right. Now, the paper's pretty thick, so not much of the staple's going to go through. But then we figured, all right, we'll go back and forth each time removing a sheet uh, from the newspaper. Right. Thus making it thinner. Less protection. Each time it gets one, actually two sheets, because you're, it's doubled in a newspaper, two sheets thinner each time. Yeah. And after a little while, the stable really starts coming through. Uh, and I guess it was the first person that tapped out. Yeah. Uh, the other person won. Right. And that's how the game went. Well, here's uh, when it started getting interested. Interesting. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that, that. Obviously, there was not much newspaper left. I, I took one right at to the At that point. But then no. Anthony's like, screw that. I'm still in. <laughs> that would hurt. Or, or am I just in this? That was, this yeah, that was uh, another you. All right, another me. Son of a... That was Anthony. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was the worst part was that anticipation. Yeah. Because you're sitting there with the staple gun on your leg, and and you're pushing down slow, just waiting for that that point where it pops. Yeah. And the staple goes into your leg. You still have marks on your thighs from that? No, but I had a, a bunch of red dots all over my pants where I was bleeding yeah. uh, from the thighs. All right, and then we uh, we moved on with the competition. <laughs> we were just a bunch of idiots, man. Uh, and then this one. <laughs> that did hurt. <laughs> it's stuck. Yeah, now they're starting to stick. And then we, we put all the staple gun uh, shots together. <laughs> Oh, 
Halo selesai. See, Pat Duffy, we used to do things, see? See, that's why uh, we have no problem making you do things, because we did it in the past. That's right. And then the contest was over, and then, uh, for good measures, I decided to take one uh, right to the leg without any, uh, without any newspaper. Nothing. Opie is the winner. Very good. I didn't think you were going to go for that last one. I will take a victory staple for the team. Stop what? it. Oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. No way. No way you're putting a staple in your leg. No way. No newspaper, nothing. No way. Oh God, do no, it. What the? What are you, nuts? Do it. This is for the victory. No way. It's empty. No way. Why? Come on, push it down. Push it down. Stop it. There's no pressure. No Rick. way. There you, go. Yeah, you do it, Rick. Now you're talking. You do it, Rick. This is for just... Giggles. <laughs> it takes a lot, bro. Yeah, you gotta just like. <sighs> All right. Oh, he's squeezing the handle. He's squeezing. It's almost there at that pop point. <clears throat> okay. Oh, almost had it there. Jeez, yeah. You take that breath and just. <clears throat> bam. Drill it in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ouch. Oh, you're, dude, you are so red. Ouch. Okay. You are so red. I almost passed out. <laughs> you put staples in your legs till you pass out. And then there you go. We Just some of the sounds from this old machine we found. Yeah. We're going to play more as uh, as the week goes on. Hey, is it true that uh, Pat Duffy uh, stapled his homework to his face and tried to hand it in once? Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? Pat Duffy is an adventurous We're doing guy. this for a radio show, man. Well, I, I had actually heard that. That was right after that happened. Oh, oh so we, we influenced yeah. you. That's we, nice. we influenced the young Great. Pat Duffy yeah, before he was able to grow that massive beard of his. Yes, was, so young, young people are listening to the show and doing things that we do. Great. Thanks, Pat. That's yeah, good. the argument uh, yeah. you know, the professionals have We're all constantly the saying people <laughs> <Great>. aren't stupid <laughs> enough to right, do thanks, these Pat. things. <laughs> you just ruined our whole argument. <laughs> so what happened? Pat I, um, dummy. I was in biology class my junior <laughs> year, and uh, we, we, we had always messed with the same teacher, and I handed him my... Uh, I was handing in my homework and I, I had a staple on my desk, so I just stapled it to my face and made her pull it off my face. Everybody had a big laugh, but then they called my dad and he freaked out. <laughs> it was awful. He, uh, he put, <laughs> that's really dumb. He, he p picked me up from work and he, and he, halfway home, he got out of the car and pulled me out of the car and put a staple gun to my forehead and said, Do you think you're funny now? Because I'll do it right here. And I, I, he wouldn't do it. I told him to do it. What this is this. Yeah. This is this. He's gonna do it right One there. staple. There's a there's a staple gun. What do you got for us today? It's a big ass staple gun. What do you got? Forehead. What are you doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. You ass. I'm so nervous. What are you doing? You tell we got, me. Huh? You tell me. It it's up to you. I'm not telling you. Just in case, like you know, you get uh, some brain hemorrhage or something. Nah, the gut. The gut. The gut. That's the it. gut. Bear. Through the shirt. He wants a cheek though yeah. or something. Oh. Nice. Oh, Did you staple your helmet to Eric's cheek? Oh. Oh, he just stapled his oh, cheek. Nice. <laughs> oh. And there's the forehead shot your dad was supposed to do back in the day. <laughs> dude. Dude. I'm that, not looking. Oh, my God. Pull those out. <laughs> Did that go into your brain? Probably. No. It can't go into your brain. Did it go in your brain. skull? You can't get it out. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Get it Did out. you hear it go click? Is that still in? Yeah. Dude, it's in your skull. You're trying to pull it. I, I can't get it out. Oh, oh my! <laughs> what? Listen, I'm right, get a staple remover. Listen to him try to pull it out. Listen, listen. Oh, <coughs> oh man. Are you kidding me? You got it out? No. I'm he not can't get it out, dude. He was stapling your head. He's panicking. <laughs> no, man. That is a staple. Is it out of his skull? Oh, these are long staples. Yeah, I didn't know that. What are you? <laughs> oh, you idiot! Is it out of your skull? No. 
No, it's deep in there. <laughs> I have here. Well, his cheek is. Look at the blood. <laughs> Look at the blood pouring. Those are the huge pliers. From his freaking That's Steve's cheek. pulling it out with pliers. Wait, I want to hear this on the air. Shh. You okay? He pulls straight out. Oh! Oh my God! I just heard skin rip. Dude, this is bad. Am I horribly disfigured for life? I heard like a uh, crunching I noise. I would seriously not do this again if I were you, Pat. <laughs> Are you gonna pull it out? It's because you have a medical Steve, you can't pull it out? Dude, I really don't want- I, I don't want to tear the flesh too much. Just oh. yank it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, some, a fast Freddy saying that sound was effing awful. Listen. Dude, he can't get it out of your skull. Oh, it's bent. Oh, God. Oh, wonderful. You better make sure no piece like right, hold on. breaks we off it. in there. Yeah, we gotta... Oh my! Look at his look at face. face! Oh my God! It's <laughs> bump, it's bumping up. Yeah, it made a big know. bump. Oh, oh shit! Oh my God! You gotta. <laughs> that's, that's dude. It's pouring blood now. And it made a big head. bump. I know. You look like you were in a fight. All right, they're they're right. escorting him out of the studio. Where are you going, Steve? You gotta get him to a doctor. To, how about to the <laughs> hospital? <laughs> how about you go to the hospital? <laughs> just swelled up. His face is just you, pouring blood. You friggin' idiot. <laughs> Why would you do that? He goes, oh, they're long staples. It's it's stuck in his skull. That staple could have been like three inches long and he wouldn't have known, and it would have just gone right in. Thank God the front of the skull is pretty thick. What is Steve saying in there? Steve! I don't know. Hurry, because we got to leave this, uh, this side of the show. The doctor will get it out. Did you get it? Uh, what's the deal, Steve? All right, you know when you actually you know use a staple for what it's designed to use and it bends outward? Yeah. That's what it did when it hit his skull. And the edges of the staple have spread. Oh, so I can't my get the oh, oh, God. Oh, so it didn't go into his skull, but it, it, it like, barbed out. It barbed under the you. skin. It barbed out under the skin. So if I yank, I'm going to tear a whole bunch of flesh. That's oh. what I don't want to do. All right, here's what you got to do. You need a pair of uh, Dykes wire cutters. That's exactly Cut what it in the middle. Yep. And then you could like pull Work it out it like out. a that's, stitching needle. That's what that's what they're getting for me right now. How okay. about this? You just take him to a doctor and let a doctor take it out so you don't rip his stupid head off. How about that? I'd How about you don't rip get his the dye? He's all right. He's laughing and he's got a McLovin shirt on, which makes yeah, this even. I'm cooler. sure he's fantastic. McLovin. <laughs> let me see the bump on your head. Pat, come in here real fast. We got to leave this side of the show, but this. You need cutters. Ah, you need like yeah. side cutters, a set of side cutters. We got a nice, we got a nice cliffhanger on the Opie and Anthony show today. I hope Duff's proud right now. Get him to a doctor. No, yeah, we need to it's not stupid if you do that. It wasn't in his skull. No, it's it's not, not skull. in his it's skull. Not, it's spread under the skin. I don't have health insurance. I can't go to a doctor. Yes, you can. I can't go to a doctor. You're fine. It's yeah. pay for it. Just yeah. get into a doctor. Get it taken out. Go watch. It. Go watch sick. We'll he, pay for side, it. He doesn't have the health side insurance. Side cutters. Yeah. Side cutters and needle nose pliers. That'll be out in a second. Permanent staple in the head, winner of the radio war. Right there, Pat Duffy. <laughs> yes. Pat Duffy. Say no more, say no more. Holy Are we shit. allowing Steve with two loop earrings to do surgery? <laughs> get the doctor to get it out. What's the matter with us? Everyone's panicked because we have to wrap up. If, if the stations Just like cut us off, they dump. cut us off. But we got we got <laughs> surgery going on with Steve. Yes. All right, we'll figure it out. Uh, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Take we'll him to the guy down the street. We'll give you an update on Pat Duffy's uh, situation. <laughs> no. uh, we have a Pat Duffy update. All hell is broken loose here, I guess. Jesus He's Christ. Dead. A lot of panicky Pete's. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of panicky Pete's all over the place. And I'm not talking about Tom. Tom came in here and gave us a talking to. A talking to, perhaps it, a bit more. It was, it wasn't he was not going, happy. But it was the type of thing, like, when you when you see your kid doing something, you scold him, like, what are you, a retard? Yeah, what that's pretty it? much the scolding we got yeah, today. Was. We were basically uh, called brain dead. We got what, scolded. You know, that, you know, what were you thinking? Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to be the hall monitor. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. I don't blame Tom, obviously, but it's Pat. Du it's Pat fucking Duffy. We're yeah. talking about here. Dude, is now Washington's pissed off because a, an intern uh, took a staple gun right to the skull. So Don is all pissed off because a, 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 an intern took a staple gun to the head. It's Pat fucking Duffy. He he got uh, vomited in his face. He had another man vomit in his mouth. He he brushed his teeth with dog shit. And then he, he just drove who, a staple into did? his who did? Pat, Pat Duffy. Pat fucking Pat Duffy. Pat fucking Duffy. He's a renaissance man. He is a renaissance. He's out of control. <laughs>
<laughs> Renaissance man. He's foaming at the mouth every day behind me here. He just wants to, to do something stupid. He needs to do stupid things. It's in his blood. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and Don's all pissed off down in Washington. It's like, hello, this kid brushed his teeth with dog shit. That is so much worse than taking a staple to the, the forehead. Yeah. So there's a nail gun. I could see that could be a problem. Nail gun, sure. That's, nail that's, gun to the head. That's where we draw the line. We understand. Right. That's where we draw the line. I was saying, if that was a, a like, we're, we're supposed to be responsible uh, and, and you know, watch everything or something. I, I, the, if that was, I was saying, if that was a gun, he'd be laying there dead. Right. That's how quick he did that. Right. It was like he took one to the gut. Uh, I've seen Steve-O do that plenty of times. Steve-O did his ball bag to his yeah. thigh on, on our show. And then he t he took one to the cheek. Yeah. Now, cheeks are pierced all the time. It's it's meat. It's not like that. And then while I was still going, oh, my God, and cringing and trying to look at his cheek, he put it to his forehead over his one eye and and hit the the thing. Yeah. And it went right into his head. I, f I, I felt like I was looking at a guy commit suicide because he, he, it was, you know, just replaced gun. That's yeah. what it looked like. It was our right the wire. To, right up to his head, blam. He just uh, took himself out. But uh, So Tom came in. He's really mad. Washington's really mad. Pat Duffy's like, what's the fucking deal? Pat's pissed off because now he has to go to a hospital. Pat's like, pissed. He feels bad. That he's he... like, I don't want to ruin everyone's day. I don't want to go to a hospital. And, yeah. and he told us off air all the crazy stuff he's done on stage with his band. Yeah. This is nothing to Pat fucking Duffy. You know what happened? Apparently, the staple went in. Uh, Who knew, uh, by the way? It, uh, there, there, it was pretty long staples, and it hit uh, apparently hit his skull. Yeah. But then it didn't go through. No. It bent. But it, it hit Governor Connolly's wrist. Uh, yes. And then it, it hovered in midair. Who <laughs> knew? Magic staple. Who knew the staple would, like, you know, spread out? So it spread out. Like, it, you know, if you staple anything, you, yeah. know, you know the deal. And then he wasn't able to pull it out. That's why it was so hard to pull out, so he had to go in the bathroom and snip the middle. We're talking spread out, you know, to make it longer, yeah. by the way. You know, when you're, like, stapling on a hard surface, yep. if you look at the back of what you just stapled, Staple bends. you'll see the staples bending outward. Out. That's and that's what, what happened with Pat Duffy. Pat yeah. fucking Duffy. Using his skull as the back of the stapler. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a regular paper stapler. Uh, so that's why they couldn't pull it out, so he had to cut it in the middle. The with noise it made cutters. when we uh, when Steve tried to remove it with his pliers, the, it sounded like the, the, the noise of ripping skin. And Jimmy was hilarious, and that's why Jimmy was in a panic, and he's like... What was your line about Steve? That was hilarious, Jimmy. I said you you don't have a guy. Something about a guy with hoop earrings doing surgery. <laughs> <laughs> He's not qualified to do that. The guy can't make a website that people understand. How's he going to pull a <laughs> <the other> man's <laughs> skull? <laughs> oh uh, and then, my god! And then there's a whole argument: who's going to take him to the hospital? Because we want to make sure he's okay. You know, he's going to need uh, a little tetanus shot there, or tetanus. maybe tetanus shot, tetanus and shot. A t maybe maybe well, a head X-ray, a little sure cleanup. Fine, but you want to make sure you want to make 100 percent sure medically. That's all he sees. All right, right we got but... Pat's dad on the line. Uh, Pat's dad, what's up? That moron. He's <laughs> a moron. <laughs> he's got insurance. Oh, he does have insurance. Yeah, he's he's under my coverage because he's still considered a stupid student. Oh, see, <laughs> he said see, he didn't have insurance. If you guys are wondering why Pat did. Duffy took a staple gun to the head, here's the reason. Now uh, he's trying to make his dad proud. And Mr. <laughs> Duffy, uh, hey, or Duff as, up, yeah. as you're called. Yeah. Uh, what you have you seen him come home with injuries because of stupid things he's done? Oh yeah, in the past. Yeah, like he was. Uh, he used to go on stage and do weird things. Yeah, that's when he was with that idiot band with the green mohawk. Yeah, the green mohawk, and he was in a band, and he would like to hit himself with uh, clubs and have uh, thumbtacks. Uh, yeah, and then when they did backyard wrestling, he got whacked with a uh, like a thirty-six inch Louisville Slugger that was wrapped in barbed wire. You know, like a same thing in a WWE or whatever. Oh, uh, he was one of those old backyard wrestlers. Backyard wrestling yeah, he wow. guys. He did that too. That's a maniac. He, he really is. And this oh, time so he uh, put a staple in his head. Makes his mom real proud. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet. Where um, where's that stapler? Uh, I think My they threw it away. Stapler. Why? It's not a criminal. 
Well, I just want to see how long one of those. Hey, we got some expert. Are. We got some expert advice from. <clears throat> oh, get yeah. rid of the weapon, you know. Oh yeah, he told, he told us oh. to run along rooftops and take one part of the stapler and drop it down one little down the vent pipes. <laughs> we still happen to have an expert in house today, and yeah. we got some fine advice on how to Trish. get rid of the weapon. Okay. Take the dog shit toothbrush, leave the stapler. <laughs> gave it to a. Gave it to a, one of the girls. Gave yeah. it to our girl intern. Yeah, she goes. It turns me on. <laughs> I gotta be honest. That was right after Pat beat somebody with the stapler, yeah. and then she just dropped it in the little milk thing in front of the house and did some awful acting. Wow, here's the here's the staples that went in his head. Uh, let's see. That that's uh, that's holy pretty, mother of that's pearl. Pretty, that's pretty right. impressive right there, dude. Yeah. That could really the uh, staple yeah, had to go right through his cheek. Uh, what? Was it huh? three I don't. It, uh, this is about. Well, Anthony, you know, quarter, five, sixteenths, three, eight. Yeah, no, we're we're looking at about half inch staples here. Oh, nice. These are about ha <laughs> good kid. Half inch, <laughs> about right into the the forehead. Let me think about. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know, what he's the? your son's a dope, and the whole thing went in. Yeah, it went right. So up, you guys got right the staple in. that was removed. I want to see how it. How it ended up in the in the oh they he cut it in the bathroom they cut it yeah but did it spread did you see the staple yeah how far did Who it saw spread? the staple I want to make sure this didn't go all the way in you know what I mean how much of it went in before it started splitting out to the sides you got more bone and skin than that though in on the front of your uh, no you don't bone you do. yeah bone but this Maybe. goes right to the bone no yeah but you got a little bit the bone, it, you it, got a little bit of skin fat up there in your forehead so you got. You know, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch taken up with that, and then the rest of it—that's okay. a thick part of your skull up You're there. You're right, but this is All a right. thick piece of what? Oh, go ahead. Sorry, uh, this is a long piece of metal. It's very thin. It's not going to kill you, but for this to not hit bone, you have to have a fat head. You have to be a. Oh, fat it hit head. bone. Yeah. yeah, it definitely hit his skull. Uh, well, we oh, got past got that on the phone. Head, right. Yeah, he's got a <laughs> thick skull, right? Hey, uh, Hey, Pat's uh, dad, stay close because we, we're going to go back to this after we get the update on your son, all right? Yeah, I got to put the phone down. I got to unload a hose here. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry that your son uh, decided to do that. He's a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we got the staple from Pat Duffy's uh, little accident. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What do you got there, Thin? No, just one way of putting it. It's a little accident. <laughs> and, uh, An accident when you. Quite impressive. It, it looks like a lot of the staple went into his uh, skin and possibly part of his skull before it decided to do the split. Yeah. And uh, uh, can we get Steve on the line? I want to see how it's going at the emergency room. Well, I'm here uh, in the emergency room, and we've. Uh, I guarantee he's annoyed. I guarantee. He's yeah. I, of course he's. A, what? We're trying to get him. Of course he's going to be annoyed. Text him first to see if he's still standing there. Yeah. Well, they're trying to show the staple on. Uh, Pal talk. I don't know if it's going to do it justice, but it uh, it made a complete no, ninety degree do. bend. Get one. Get a whole one. Next mm -hmm. to the one that we took from his uh, head, so you got a little reference point there. Of what like kind of CSI? What kind of damage this thing did? Ballistics testing. And and Pat Dovey had a nice welt on his head, man. That thing ballooned up fast, and the blood pouring out of his cheek was terrific. Yeah, he uh, he put one through his cheek. Are we? Dope. Are we trying to get Steve? I'm, this yeah. is called filler. Yes. I hate Prince Harry's red cheeks. They're Can rosy. Can have that rosacea fixed? It's not rosacea. It's being young, pale, and English. They're just dumb red cheeks. It's, it's just because he's horny. Oh, there's yeah. the staple. The blood is flowing. I'm, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, it bent in a 90-degree angle. Yeah. That's half the staple, by the way. It's clipped in the middle. Where's the uh, the full staple? You got one next to it? Yeah, do that, just so people know what went in his head. Oh, exactly. you got to set it up. Uh, there you go. That's what went in his head, and that's how it kind of was removed from his head. Jesus. That is twisted. What do we got, Travis? Oh. Not much of an update, no. but Steve's at the emergency room with Pat Duffy because of that staple incident. That's. Uh, they thought he was mauled by a bear when he came in <laughs> and brought him with him. Yes, I'm his doctor. I'm his uh, primary physician. I did the initial surgery of removing the staple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend a lot of honey and a cock the size of the Chrysler building. <laughs> I don't know why I sound like Woody Allen now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what, what did he say, Travis? Uh, he just said he's trying to call, but there's not good signal at the hospital. Yes. 
They, well, just, they keep getting moved around. I right. turned my cell phone on and four heart patients dropped on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, has, have he, has he been seen yet? They're just moving them around, you know, because... It's not a minor case. Thing. Thing. Are you saying that that's not going to take priority in the ER? <laughs> e Rock's got a communique here. He's saying the staff at CBS sat his girlfriend down. We've met her. Uh, she works for CBS, and we're approaching it like he was dying or dead. She freaked out, but he called her and said he was okay. What's wrong with that? What was that about? They, they, as soon as she came into work, yeah. they sat her down like. Look, there, there's something we got to tell you. And really oh laid it on. Oh, my like was, God. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? Yeah, go get her. Everyone knows you go, look, Pat's okay, but I got to tell you something. That's yeah. how you do it no matter what. If it's a family member, your girlfriend, whatever. Totally your okay. Good friend, that's the first thing out of your mouth if you have to say something. It's like, yeah. look, look, so-and-so is okay, but. Oh, I think. I think you better sit down. It's the worst way to approach I that. I think you better sit down. That's like, hey, guess what? I got some really fucking bad news, but I don't want to tell you right away. Or I have news that isn't so that bad, means, but I'm fucking with you. That means you're either fired or someone close to you is dead. Right. Give me another thing you could possibly sit think. down. What the fuck? I'll, I'll fall on the fucking floor. The bump on my head ain't going to hurt that much if I find out somebody's dead. And he, he's Jackasses. A, he's a great thing to do if you tell somebody about a car accident. And go, uh, uh, look, uh, there's been a car accident. Don't get crazy. Just don't panic. You know, it's cool. Uh, your parents were in a car accident. Um, oh, are they, are they okay? What? Well, <laughs> I was kidding. Oh. oh. <laughs> or right, look, don't worry. There was an accident. Your parents were involved, but I don't want you to worry because they're dead. Hey! <laughs> This, this is too real. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I realized what and I was saying. An anniversary's okay. coming up, people. I made a heart joke, and my dad dropped dead of a heart attack. It's true. It, I it, made pedophile jokes. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading toward the third anniversary in a few days. Oh. It's all right. I just want to shock you with that. Oh, hi. hi. Uh, Pat Duffy's girlfriend in the studio. Sit, we want you to sit down. Now, we just got you, news from the emergency put room. Put your feet in a less comfortable looking Yeah, what position. the fuck is that? Jesus well, she's, Jeez. All right. Uh, what happened? Seriously. I don't know. <laughs> I came in this morning and everyone like sat me down. They're like, did you hear what happened? And I'm like, uh, no. Sad. They're like, he's, he's almost dead. They didn't say that. They really did? <laughs> yeah, Who's they? they? It was everyone in sales. They were like, he's pretty much like he was bleeding. He was pretty much unconscious. And I'm like, unconscious. unconscious. He's always Where unconscious. So, That's just his natural yeah. state. Are they fucking with you? Um, I don't think so. They were like serious when they told me. Well, who said he was unconscious? Can we fight. Wait, wait, who? Yeah, who said first, unconscious? First, you know what you can tell. I him. work with him. Let him out. But no, no, we'll ask him. Let him out. That's not insulting. We're, who is maybe it? because maybe it's something we don't know. Who so, said it? No, they just they made a big deal out of absolutely nothing. I spoke to him. He's fine. Did you freak out though? I freaked out when they told me that. Yeah. Yeah. You There's the staple. <laughs> There's the life-threatening staple. Should I have it? Yeah, take it for a souvenir. Maybe you can make a pendant or. Yeah. <laughs> it's bent. Yeah, it bent on his skull. Yeah. It was, it okay? was That's half a staple, by he, the way. He was fine. It he had was... to be snipped in the middle because when it bent at a 90-degree angle, it stuck in his, his head. His, Here's one. His quote was... Ooh. Yeah, that's yeah. what went in his head. His quote was, uh, I don't want to go to the hospital. I don't want to ruin anyone's day. Please, he was, uh, Yeah, he was really mad that the, the, they forced him to go to the, yeah, the hospital. we did. I think... Uh, we just wanted to make sure he was okay. He's a sweet boy. But he was... He's fine. Oh, Pat's fine. He, he, he was a little lightheaded. A little, you know, he was bumping into. A few he things. was. <laughs> Jesus <All right>. Christ. <laughs> he's okay. He could care less. We just want to give him a tetanus shot and make sure that. Yeah, we want to just make sure that he's cautious. all right. Yeah. Yeah, but I came in late with everything, like with the storm yesterday. I didn't know what happened. I rushed in. They were like, "You need to sit down for a minute." And I'm like, "Okay." So I sat down there, like, "Did you hear what happened with Pat?" And I'm like, "No." He brushed his teeth with dog shit. No, 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 no. Again? That no. But by, that happened. By the way, you're a huge hit at the uh, the virus shows. Oh, yeah, when you kiss him. When you kiss him after the brush. After his the dog teeth. shit Sometimes brush. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You mm -hmm. get a massive reaction. Good. It's really it's good. It's all for Pat. Did you say the storm yesterday? Yesterday into this morning, yeah. Oh. It's See, that's how good. early we wake up. <laughs> See, that storm for us was, was today. today. <laughs> for most people, yeah. it was yesterday. Oh See, because that was last night. Oh, wow, that was yeah. last night for you most know? people. It was today for that's us. That's why I called oh, when she said so yesterday. Weird, it's right. like, oh, God damn. No. That was... That was today. It was well into today for me. <laughs> you should make that. You know, now that I live like in a in a really tall building, I look around at all the other buildings and and try to figure out how many other people are stupid enough to be up when I'm up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Not many, man. 
you see like one or two lights tops in, in all the buildings around. Oh, Hopefully boy. Like what that. happened? I don't know. Let's just hold on our hats because NASA is getting ready to send a teacher well, uh, into space. Not, not, uh, not just any teacher. She no. was the backup to the teacher. Really? Yes. Chris McAuliffe. She Christopher was the McCullough. backup uh, back in the day. And uh, what happened was after that whole thing happened, it's a really interesting little human interest story. Oh. She, she became an astronaut because uh, they, they weren't sending any more civilians into space. And right. She, she just spent like the last 20 years becoming an becoming astronaut. Becoming an astronaut? For this moment. This is a biggie. Well, she's not going now, is she? Is that it right there? Uh. I don't think so. No, it's... It would have said live. Wait, she wanted to go into one. space as a civilian and became an astronaut just to do this? It took her 20 years, this slow bitch? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't, I don't 20 know. 20 years? I don't know. Well, someone get the, the story. Maybe, you know, whatever. She, she decided... sucks. On the Endeavor, which replaced the Challenger. His first flight in nearly five years oh. for the Endeavor. Oh, boy. Oh, mm, yeah, I hope that was in for an upgrade. What, well, what, are the, what are the odds? Why yeah. should you become a fucking astronaut? Why not? Like like what, take one job. space trip? Uh, why is OJ um, on uh, TV? He had to give money back. Did he? Yes. For what? How much? I, I don't know. Buck 50? Are we done with Pat Duffy's girlfriend? Oh, yes, Pat Duffy's side. girlfriend. She's sitting there awkwardly now, wondering yeah, with her if we're done. Aside. She's a very weird way of sitting. She'll uh, sit down straight, but her feet both go to the left. Travis has another communique coming ah, in from the hospital. Update, update. Yeah, this is from Steve. <laughs> Angry Russian woman in waiting room won't shut up, keeps complaining about her leg pain and asking me about my tattoos and how much they hurt. I want to beat her to death with a fucking crutch. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to kill Duffy. <laughs> That's why we wanted to send Steve. Yes. We know how much Steve hates these people. Yeah. How's Pat Duffy? I don't know. He's got to be fine. <laughs> I spoke to him. He said he was okay. He's, he's so... Yeah, they're they're going to spend a the bump whole on his head. Garden. Well, I apologize. And he did this for you guys. He but really I apologize that the people sat you down and made it more than it is. That's ridiculous. That's all right. All right. Uh, you have a meeting? Um, yeah, someone else. All right. Okay. Bye. All righty. You got Take a very, it easy. You got a very sexy voice, by the way. Mm -hmm. And you smell yeah. good, too. Do they use you for anything around here? No. Yeah, they should. We should. Some production or Wait, something. They should. We should. Uh, we should. Sure. Yes. All uh, right. Get so my long. number. Phone sex. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Duffy's girlfriend. He put a stapler in his head. I'll just thank him. Good point. Good He's point. He's a good boy. All right. Getting another update. Uh, Travis got another communique from Steve. Stuck in the emergency room with Pat Duffy. Did you say it as Steve? <laughs> Mine's not as good as yours. You want to read it? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're setting me up to fail, aren't Hello. you? Duffy has a golf. <laughs> oh my oh god. god! Wow, Travis. <laughs> Duffy has a golf ball-sized welt on his head. The triage nurse asked him if he stapled his head on purpose. He said yes. She didn't flinch and called him sweetie. <laughs> then some rambling bum in the waiting room said, we're going to be here for a while. I believe him. I'm taking pics with my other phone, trying to send, but no luck. A fucking hospital. <laughs> 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 for some reason, he can send text messages, no problem, but he can't call. Yeah. So uh, he can that's call. Mm. <laughs> he just doesn't want to deal with us today. Uh, people are asking if we're going to go through the NEW machine today, Ant. Uh, yes. We could do a little bit just before line of the day. Well... <laughs> Well, um, we played our staple gun challenge, or clips from that earlier, and that led to Pat Duffy uh, taking a staple gun right to the head. To his head. Uh, not realizing how long the staples were, causing a major problem. Yep. Can yeah. we get the, uh, the noise of the, the flesh kind of ripping as oh. we try to pull the staple out of his head? That, that is, <laughs> that's just terrific stuff right there. I, I hope we could get this video up somewhere. That, uh... This should be all right to put that video up, right? I would think oh, so. I hope so. Yeah, okay. There's no newsy. We have the uh, the Pat Duffy update before we leave the air. That's cool. Oh, good. Uh, what do we got? Just this? Yeah. He's, he got a tetanus shot and some Motrin. Oh, <laughs> that's That's Great. all we got today. So he's well, fine. He did the right thing. We made sure he's all right. All right, get that video up online, Sam. Now make Pat pay for it. Yeah. Exactly. Bob Kelly's here. A lot of people asking about Pat Duffy. Um, wow. Well, we're... <sighs> okay. Sad to report, but... Pat Duffy. <laughs> yeah. Pat. It's Opie and Anthony. By the way, Pat Duffy's fine. He's sitting over there. Pat Duffy. What, 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 that, well, that, oh, that, he got that, a staple who... in his head.
It's Pat Effin Duffy. Simple as that. That's Pat his Duffy name. Duffy is an his, animal. His middle name is Effin. Yeah, Pat's Pat an animal. Effin Duffy. And uh, he, he went a little loony yesterday. Well, we uh, went down memory lane. We did this uh, staple gun challenge back in the day, uh, uh, Bob. Yeah. Basically, we had a newspaper with a space uh, with a space shuttle with a uh, the guys got me. Special endeavor. I had a newspaper with special endeavor with really long staples. And so we put the paper up against our leg and then shot the staple into the paper and then into our leg. But sort of, it didn't hit the leg at first. And then the challenge was I passed the paper on to Anthony. He took a page out you of take the paper. A page away. And we kept going until someone said, no way, I can't do this anymore. And then the, the whole uh, uh, staple gun challenge ended with me just taking a shot into my leg, which at the time was pretty damn impressive. With, yeah. but, with but, a big staple. Cute. Yeah. Yeah, nice. It was one of those big staple guns. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, so Pat Duffy laughed at that yesterday. We had a we had a staple gun around. He he popped it in uh, your belly. Mm-hmm. He started yeah. with his belly, popped one long staples, long staples. How long are we talking? His gun's right there, right th- that. Oh my God! All right, listen. Staple it into the newspaper. No, no, and look no. how long the staple Tom's is. Tom's running down the hall as we speak. Don't worry about. He was it. In no, a do panic it into, Don't do it like that. Do it into the into newspaper. the paper. Yeah. And now pull it out. All right, see how it you went can't into the console, oh and it went through the the entire newspaper and into the console. Pull the whole right? newspaper up, silly. See, listen. <laughs> All right, now picture that in his belly, in his cheek, that instantly started pouring blood, and then for good measures, he he put it to his his forehead like a gun and shot it into his skull. Now here's what happened: the edges of the staple, because it hit his skull. Bent out outwards like, to a ninety degree angle, like the like the staple did a split because it hit bone. So now you he couldn't pull it out because it was stuck. <laughs> you moron! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So then we kind of all went into sort of a panic mode, and then like Steve decided to get um, uh, pliers and try to pull it out, and the and you could oh. hear like flesh almost ripping. Uh, yeah, it was like oh a my crunching. god! Get the sound for Bob. He'll puke. It was a crunching <laughs> noise. You can find it. it was a crunching noise, Should've like what, of hands. fat cells, like on. And it's in your head, and it hit your skull. Yeah. 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 Did you feel it hit your skull? Yeah, it felt a little different than any other time I'd ever done it. Yeah. Well, you've done this before. Yeah. yeah. And here's the deal. There was a lot of confusion yesterday. A lot of people were really pissed at us. Washington was pissed. Tom was pissed down the hall. And they thought we just picked some random intern and had him do this. This guy, the backyard wrestler. He was a backyard wrestler. Got hit with Louisville sluggers wrapped in uh, barbed wire. Yeah. Yes, a little more than that. The guy knows what he's doing. Mm. What Tax. was your name? The Pat F. and Duffy. The, the yes. crazy Amish? Uh, no. Yeah. What was your name? <laughs> wait, wait. I had two different characters. One was Big Larry. He was a Mormon construction worker just laid off, bent on revenge. And the other one... <laughs> wait, 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 bent wait, on wait, wait, revenge wait, wait, wait. from bent what? Revenge. Slow, slow down. Slow story. down. Yeah, what? <laughs> What did he want? Wait, that's going to be your new catchphrase, by the way. I love it. <laughs> Pat F. and Duffy bent on bent on <laughs> revenge. <laughs> that's pretty realistic. Yeah, and a, a staple bent in his head. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and your so, dad called while you were at the hospital yesterday. He was not happy. Yeah, he's mad at me anyway. He, he seemed like he was mad at us too, by the way. But uh, <laughs> Pat is fine. He went yeah. to the emergency room. He got a, one of those tetanus shots yes. and uh, some Motrin, and uh, and even the big huge lump is gone. Yeah. But he's I can still see a couple of yeah. holes in your head. Yeah, he's got the holes still. So you look to this side. Looks like a little, a little snake bite. Bit. Yeah. And what about your cheek? That's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. So what was your... your did that go straight through to the inside of your mouth? Yeah, but it didn't go all the way through. I heard the replay. You said it pierced my cheek. It, it didn't. I checked mm. when I was listening. Oh. Was it was like... It was close. It had to be it close. It had to be close. That, those that staples is, were pretty long. Pretty long, yeah. This is why this guy's scary. Because he's not even that big. Like, you wouldn't think twice about messing with this kid. Uh, he, he looks like just out. a regular pothead at a college. Like, what's <laughs> up, man? This kid... This is the kid that you'd actually punch, and he'd turn and go, uh, I didn't like that. Yeah. And uh, he'd just no, kill you. kill you. Oh, God. Yeah. What was your other character name? Uh, I can't say it on the side, but it was uh, Skull F, and he was the reincarnated <laughs> he was a reincarnated zombie corpse of Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that character sounds intriguing. <laughs> to you. Yes. Well, I'm, I don't know. It just sounds uh, interesting. My theme song was the Imperial March, and I came out goose stepping. Yeah. And, and what, in did somebody's backyard? Cheer? Literally, yes. We had a shed that we came out, and we had entrance music. And oh, my awesome. God. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You have videos of this, oh, don't you? Do. And it culminated with me getting uh, 20 shots and nine staples in my arm. See? And then we knew what we were doing yesterday. We need this. I, Pat, because of you, Pat your... F. and Duffy, I went home happy. I don't care what you know. Tom, all mad. He's he's got a job to do. He's he's the hall monitor. I get it. They're pissed in Washington. I was 
I was so happy all afternoon yesterday. I'm like, that's good radio. Yeah, and Johnny from <laughs> Vegas says it all. He says, a good rule is that the more pissed the executives are, the happier the listeners right, are. Right, exactly. Hey, did you have a, a, a mustache? Did you grow any Hitler mustache? No, I used to draw it. Well, I had a skull mask that I drew a mustache on. A Hitler mustache on it? On the skull mask? Yeah. Oh, and you pretty- come out as a zombie reincarnated yeah. um, a Hitler. And I used to just stumble around and then... Like, <laughs> and throw out like uh, Hitler, uh, yes. Heil Hitler salute. Yeah, and I used to just yell like like gibberish German. I'm like, Das Snoggin! Snoggin! Like, You're asking <laughs> like snoggin. video games, yes. like like Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, fake fake German in those dumb games. Yeah. They're not saying anything. Oh my God, <laughs> you are an Could ass. Could you imagine being the the neighbors? You're having a barbecue. Your brand new outdoor pool. Hey kids, yeah, your brand new dog? deck. And then just to see him, what did you wear Jumping as far from the as roof for the skull mask on? I uh, well, I had an old green suit jacket, and I wore my skull thing, my skull mask. And uh, one of my buddies actually had actual Nazi memorabilia, uh-huh. so I had an actual oh. Nazi armband with blood on it. Yeah, the swastika armband. Yeah, the swastika armband, and uh, I used to have a sword that I'd carry around. And that was really it. Actually, blood is going through his body. Uh, Anthony's filling up right now. I was, I'm was. i just imagining what you, you were guess. saying. The neighbors, what would they think seeing this happening? In we're a pretty yard? rural area. so Better have been rural. <laughs> yeah, but, we're uh, Austria. Where are you? <laughs> in the middle of the woods. Where was mom and dad as you're jumping off roofs? <laughs> letting me do it. Were they uh, <laughs> making crosses? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to bring the videos in now. The listeners need to see some. Why of you have videos of this? Yeah. yeah, they all. Yeah. We would have monthly <laughs> events every month. Uh, Where have you have been? Cool have you, uh, this, Dude, uh, anyone that has done backyard wrestling has video. It's not even a question. So, your video is a key part of this. Absolutely. How important was the Hitler mask <laughs> and the essential. mustache? It was essential to the character. <laughs> now, goose stepping. This isn't popular. Uh, why would you do this? What type of stapler you use? A swing line. <laughs> <laughs> See, so Pat Duffy laughed at that trick yesterday. I know. Everyone else panicked, and even Pat Duffy's like, I don't want to go to the hospital. I've done this before. Relax, yeah. everybody. I don't want to ruin anyone's day. Yeah, I didn't mean to piss everybody off. Everybody got really mad at me. Oh, dude. No one Emails, got mad at phone you. phone calls, uh, one boss talking to another boss. It was just all-encompassing yesterday. <laughs> I don't oh, like agents getting is. involved. It's like, well, everyone just relax. It's Pat F. and Duffy. Just wait. I got a few words uh, when we go to the other, th- the dark side today. Oh, yeah? Oh, I do. Oh. I got a couple of words. Is it the F word? Can you stop, yep. Anthony, can you stop doing that? What? You keep grabbing the little loops on the back of your shoes and pulling your back of your feet up to your ass like a dirty stripper. Like a marionette. You, look, you just look like the stripper when she's like doing that little move and that she grabs the bottom of her high heels. and You know, no up. one would look at me ever, no matter what I was doing. If I was stripping on that pole, no one would look at me and say I look like a stripper. Well, I'm just lifting my uh, you're shoes lifting up. Lifting your feet. It's fun. You put your, your fingers ass. in your little uh, loops at the back of your shoes that you used to pull them on, and you, eh. you pull them up and, and eh. down. Well, you, I, I'm sitting here. What am I supposed to do? Hey, we got to do a little perm news uh, before we get out of here. Pat please. Duffy, please plug your mom's flower shop. <coughs> Krause's Flowers in Clinton, New Jersey. Krause! Krause's! Yeah. Krause! <laughs> exactly. K R A U S E S flowers dot com. Buy some flowers. Support my family. He got a hospital bill yesterday, so go buy a bouquet yes. of something. Oh. <laughs> Duff, you'll be getting that pretty soon. All right, that's it. Or right, Tom's Duff. gonna run in and shake you down for some cash. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm sure half the sales staff is on the phone with the flower shop <laughs> no right kidding. now. Would you like to buy some time on the uh, somebody actually the show? Uh, called a, uh, a staples a stapler company yesterday? Yeah, yeah. I swear to God, this is back there. They are. They're, They're geniuses. 